Hello, it's Robbie, and it is April 7th, and I hope everybody is okay wherever you're holed up. Uh, hopefully this too will pass, and I'm hoping that you're, you know, doing new things, and you know, I hope you're doing well. Uh, what can I say about that? I'm, I'm doing well. I hope you are too. Uh, so today we were supposed to uh, talk about the film proposal that's due, and also I was supposed to have an interview with Archie Borders, who is a Louisville media maker. Uh, the Archie Borders interview is going to be held off for just a little bit because we didn't get together on Skype. Uh, he was busy, I was busy, but I'll do that another day. Uh, but today we're talking about the film proposal due April 23rd. Uh, what is a film proposal? Why make one? Um, if you go to your syllabus, uh, which is in Canvas, you see uh, for project number three, it says create a film proposal, which is 25% of your Mass 490 grade. For this major project, you will propose, describe, and justify many of the major components for a feature film of your own creation. You do not have to create a script. You are selling the story and idea of the movie. Ideally, the story idea is one that you're passionate about and that can be translated into a compelling, commercially viable movie. You will create a film proposal using photographs dropped into a Word document, or even better, you can create the proposal on Photoshop or other software. A good length for this proposal would be 6 to 10 pages. The length of your film proposal can be 6 to 10 pages. Um, with enticing cover page, photo images to hook our attention, uh, let me repeat that. It, photo images to hook our attention, you kind of want to make it punchy and splashy with the images. Um, and any necessary charts and graphs. There is an outline and proposal samples in the film proposal project folder. Uh, when you turn this in, you will export a PDF and email me uh, by the deadline. Um, so, a film proposal looks something like this. This is a brand new one that came out with a new feature film that a producer wanted me to direct, and it's called The Dying of the Light. And I think this is incredibly visual, or more visual than some of the other uh, template and proposal examples in the folder. Uh, you know, it's got images of spooky trees on the cover page. Uh, it's, got, it's a Civil War film, so it's got dead Civil War soldiers and a quote on this page. Uh, it's got a synopsis of the story uh, based on the novel Nashville, um, 1864 by Madison Jones. The Dying of the Light is a coming-of-age story set in the midst of the Civil War. The story follows two 12-year-old boys, Stephen Moore, son of a slave owner, and his best friend Dink, one of his family's slaves. Uh, the boys will go on a journey to find the father through the hell and ravishes of the Civil War and get the father to return home to save the mother who's been kind of kidnapped. Uh, so it's got danger and guns and civil war. Um, there are examples of the cast. Examples of the cast. It's got a nice image there. It looks like a window. And it's got a quote from the film. Some we met on the way I never want to meet again. But in this life or the next... But I can't say all we ran into was bad eggs. It's the good ones I remember most strongly. That's actually one of my lines of dialogue. I kind of wrote the script. So there, there it is. But they had a quote there. Uh, this is important. It has uh, the team page. Robbie Henson, director, has my bio. Uh, Joe Goodman, producer, it has his bio. Uh, another page of the team. It's got a producer, producer, producer. Um, when you write your proposal, you might not have a team other than yourself, but you could say executive producer is Tarantino. Uh, he is very uh, good with action movies and, and, and prismatic ways of telling stories. Therefore, he's, he will uh, be an incredible resource to guide this film through to, through to completion. So you could imagine you know, the kind of producers you want to work with and even the directors you want to work with on your team. Investment overview, there is uh, the budget and financials, you know, what the budget of your film is. Uh, this seems to say the Kentucky tax incentive is coming in at this amount. Um, this, the offering, we need $2,900,000. Uh, investment terms, 120% uh, of the principal investment pro rata pari pursue uh, means the investor gets paid back for first money out. 
Then a 50-50 split of net proceeds afterwards. Um, so that's an investment overview page. This, this is called Film Comps. Film Comps. And comps is just a short word, is just a short term for, uh, for film comparables. And basically in a film comparable page, uh, you are comparing what you hope your film will make by listing other films that have made this amount of money. And this is information, you know, one gets from IMDB or IMDB Pro. Um, you know, so that's a film comparable page. They actually have two pages in this one of film comparables. And then they have a note from a director, which is just another little added, you know, special sauce on the film proposal. Um, and a nice graphic at the end. So I thought that was a very well put together film proposal. Uh, you know, film proposal is a standard document in the film industry where people who are trying to create a film will put together a perspective, a a proposal to make that film, but it is a, a visual document, um, you know, put together uh, with graphics and images and pictures that represents uh, what your film is going to be. Uh, the best thing you can do is go to the file labeled Film Proposal Project Folder, which is in Canvas under Files, and if you click on that, um, it has an outline of a film proposal and if you click on that, what you would read is the outline of a film proposal. Um, we see here that the outline includes a title page. Come up with compelling title page with images, title, and log line plus your name. Two, disclaimer, you should have a paragraph or two that states you are not selling securities and any investor invests at their own risk. See sample disclaimers on the business plan samples in the folder. So uh, as you can see on the dying of the light the disclaimer was very small and it was on the front page and it said all contents of this presentation are for discussion purposes only and do not constitute a formal investment offering in whole or in part. All numbers, projections, and expectations contained herein are estimates only and should not be used for the proposed making of any investment decisions. What is the disclaimer about? So basically, it's funny, but you know, you're supposed to have a statement of risk in your business plan that could scare the investors off. And you know, people who are professional put together business plans, they know they have to put in a statement of risk. Why? Because they could be sued. If they say, oh, the comparisons and the film comps show that we're going to make a lot of money, and then if the film loses money, somebody could go and say, Look, in your document, you said your film was just like this other film that made a lot of money, and I'm going to sue you. But if you clearly have a statement of risk that, you know, you really are can lose a lot of money, uh, and it's inherently risky, uh, you can't really be as liable and can't be open for a lawsuit as much. And then also the Securities Exchange Commission in the United States government would come down on you for selling a faulty investment scheme if you did not protect yourself by saying, we warned them, we were not, you know, some fly by night, you know, uh, you know, con artists trying to lure them out of the money. Uh, we had a statement of risk in the business plan and so they knew what they were getting into. So that's that's kind of important, the statement of risk. Of course, you as a student who are making this plan, I wouldn't spend a whole lot of time with your statement of risk. You can minimize it, but somewhere in the first page or second page or third page, you should have a statement of risk. Okay, what else is in a business plan? Number three, there's a synopsis. Tell what your story is that you want to make in a short, compelling synopsis. Emphasis on compelling. Uh, number four, the style. Briefly describe the style or, or look of your film in a short paragraph. Um, number five, the history. 
I'll summarize the history or biography of the project, such as this uh, story is based on a book that has millions of readers, therefore uh, there will be millions of people who will buy tickets and go to the theater. Uh, so you can describe the history of it. State the compelling reasons this film should be made. Uh, maybe it's a comedy. Um, you could say we've gone through a, a COVID-19 crisis. America needs to laugh. Therefore, the the opportunity for this comedy to uh, enlighten and entertain audiences and bring them out of their funk will be uh, over. Will be an amazing opportunity for this film to to go before the audience. They need it right now. Um, you could uh, the cast. That's a fun part of a. a film proposal. You can go online and find your favorite actors and put them into your film or, you know, look in for actors in film and TV and find the ones that you think are appropriate for your story and put their little picture in and their little bio and um, cast your film with, with TV and film actors. Your team. Now, you're making this, your team is you, but you could uh, say your team is a cinematographer who also shot a film that you like and you could have a short bio for the cinematographer your team could be uh you know tarantino is the executive producer and he will bring his writing expertise and action comedy expertise to bear on your project you could have a short bio for an executive producer or producers or directors you could even hire a director that's a famous director and uh, state the reasons in the team um, part why you want this director to direct your film. So that's your team is the producer, director, writers, possibly a cinematographer. A market plan. Now next week I will go more into detail about um, distribution and you will be reading articles about distribution in your motion picture book. Uh, but you should be able in a, in a paragraph to say you know how to get this film to market. You know how to get a foreign sales agent involved. You know how to uh, f uh, allow it to open in 3,000 theaters um, because of the genre of the film, because of the past success. Uh, you know, you could look at how other films were distributed and have a, a market plan. Tax incentive. You could Google what states have tax incentives. You know, it's Atlanta and New Orleans, and you can choose to shoot your film in a state with a tax incentive in order to get 30 cents back on the dollar. Canada has that. Uh, European countries have that. You could Google what countries have tax incentives and say my fantasy film is going to be shot in Bulgaria to take advantage of their 30% tax incentive plan. So you could back that up. Um, why put together a business plan? Um, a business plan is a professional way to seek funding for a project. And, you know, this will stand you in good stead if you are able to create business plans for, maybe you want to create a business plan for a short form internet series. And instead of going to your parents and your uncles and your, your aunts and saying, can you give me money? If you have a business plan, you could go to your uncles and say, do you know anybody who might want to invest? And your uncle might say, well, I know a banker who might want to invest. So, you know, even for your own projects, knowing how to put together a business plan isn't a bad thing. I also want you guys to take the time to maybe learn or be better acquainted with internet graphic software. Why not? Why not learn something new or learn some new skills that you didn't uh, know as well during this time when a lot of us are home, a lot of us are self-isolating? And if you were more Cracker Jack in Photoshop or uh, one of the Creative Cloud Internet software uh, things, you know, that could help you. There are jobs, uh, you know, running the social media aspect of a company, and they often want you to shoot short videos, and they also want you to do graphic design. And so graphic design is, is a good skill to have. And if you have some more time at home than you had had in, in, the, in the past, uh, you know, why don't you learn yourself a new skill? I should take that to heart, too. I should learn myself a new skill and, and learn Photoshop, which I'm not so good at. But I don't know if I'll do that. But I'm passing it on to you and seeing if you guys want to do that. Um, again, don't be nervous. Don't be stressed out about your business plan. You know, if it just is elegant and simple and, and not overdone, that still will work, you know, because you can be classy and simple and that will still work. But if you want to, you know, go all in on, you know, trying to have interesting pictures, grab pictures from the Internet, um, you know, put sepia treatments on them. Uh, do anything you want with this business plan. 
and uh, it will be turned in on April 23rd in a PDF that you will email to me. Here's a little aside. Um, I happened to come upon a production being shot for a reality TV show in my local coffee shop about three weeks ago. It was right before social isolation. Actually, it was just barely right before social isolation. And um, there was a Food Network crew down from Toronto to shoot reality TV about a local bakery that had had a makeover for this makeover food channel show. And then I asked the cameraman when he was, you know, stopping to get a cup of coffee if I if I could ask him some questions about how a person becomes a network camera person. And here's what he had to say. Okay. So I'm talking to Adam who was shooting a reality TV show in my local coffee shop. Uh, how are you doing, Adam? Good, thanks. Um, so you are shooting a, a camera for this show. How did you become a cameraman for a reality TV show? Uh, I went to film school for it, but uh, on weekends, even during when I was studying, um, I was just volunteering on short films and small shoots, um, which was actually the way that I met more people in the industry, which I think was a bigger help to me than actually the, than the program I was in. Did you have to go to a city that had a lot of media to advance your career? What city was that? Yeah, I luckily grew up in Toronto and there's a ton of stuff happening. So there's lots of uh, like social media groups, which I would suggest joining any film groups in your area. Because um, oftentimes it's a pool of uh, it's a pool of freelancers that are kind of, you know, everyone needs help when they're starting out. So they'll put calls for small shoots like, hey, I'm shooting a music video or a short film this weekend. I'm looking for a camera assistant or a PA. Um, I would just say any time, any free time you got, even while you're in school, um, just volunteer. Do a couple. Um, try and make connections with people who you think can teach you things or you get along with. Um, and then just be an open book to them and, and try and work as hard as you can because then they'll hire you for real. Right. Uh, it seems like when you shoot these shows, you have a certain pattern that you follow. Like I saw you were doing an interview with a, uh, a, a dolly wide shot and then two over the shoulders. Is that kind of standard? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, always get the safe wide uh, so the editors can cut back to it and then get an over the shoulder on each side to cut in any uh, important moments. And then they had you lag behind. What are you doing here, uh, lagging behind with your camera? Just shooting some B-roll of the location, okay. which again, is good for the editors. If they need to cut away from the conversation for a second, they can splash that in. Well, I appreciate that. You did say uh, for what students should do to become a cameraman. Um, uh, or do you like what you do? Love it. It's always something new, always traveling. It's, it's awesome. That's it for here. I will talk to you this way next week. But until then, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. And wherever you are, I'm wishing you the very best. So bye for now.